Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in this week's video, I'm showing you how to make the best DIY deodorant to stop underarm odor. This is a homemade and natural deodorant recipe that not only stops underarm odor, but also leaves your underarms smelling fresh and feeling moisturized. Want to see exactly how I make this natural deodorant? Keep watching. <music> Now, let's get into these ingredients. So this is shea butter, and this is the first ingredient that I'm going to be measuring out to include in this natural deodorant recipe. So I'm just going to turn on my scale and make sure that you always tear the scale to make sure it's on zero. Just as a quick FYI, the measurements for this recipe can be found in the description box below. And this is my shea butter. The next ingredient that I'm going to be using is cocoa butter. So I'm using actual cocoa chips. So this will make my butter a little bit more firm. And if you put in too many cocoa chips, you can just take some out. And these are my cocoa chips. So the next ingredient in this natural deodorant recipe is coconut oil. I love coconut oil in natural deodorant because it has natural antimicrobial properties, so it helps to fight bacteria. We have our coconut oil. And the next ingredient that I'm going to be measuring out is candelilla wax. And this is candelilla wax. So candelilla wax is a natural wax. It is a great alternative if you do not want to use beeswax. So I'm actually just going to pour some out of the bag. You can use this in natural deodorants. You can also use it in lip balms, lipsticks, anything that you're making where you don't want to use beeswax. Candelilla wax is an excellent substitute. And now I have my candelilla wax. So the next ingredient I'm going to be using is baking soda. So now let's measure out our baking soda. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. Let's move on to the next ingredient, which is going to be our cornstarch. As a substitute, you can use arrowroot powder, which is very similar to cornstarch, but today I'm going to be using cornstarch. And this is our cornstarch. So let's move on to our next step. The first ingredient I'm going to put in is my shea butter. Next, I'm going to add in my cocoa chips. Next, I'm going to add in my candelilla wax. And then finally, I'm going to add in my coconut oil. And now I'm going to take my ingredients and place them in a water bath so that my oils and butters can melt together. So now that my butters, oils, and my candelilla wax are melted, I'm going to go ahead and add in my first powder ingredient, and that would be my baking soda. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit at a time, and we wanna do this while it is still warm so that everything mixes really well together. And then next, let's go ahead and mix in our cornstarch. Mm -hmm. 
and you can actually leave this overheat and do this. That will probably make the mixing a little bit better because the oil would not start to cool off and then thicken up. Because we put the candelilla wax in though, it will start to thicken up pretty quickly. So that's just the remainder of our cornstarch. So I'm just going to sit this back on the stove for just a moment because I don't want it to get too thick, but it actually can get pretty thick because it's going, it's now like cooling off. So I'm just gonna sit it on the stove for a moment. Okay, so now the mixture is warm again, and as you can see, it's very liquefied. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my essential oils. So the first oil I'm adding in is bergamot. I am going to add in a couple of drops. And then I'm also going to add in some sandalwood. I love these two scents together. They are pretty amazing smelling together. And now I'm just going to go ahead and stir again, just to make sure it's stirred really well. And now I'm going to go ahead and move on to our next step. So I'm going to be taking the mixture and adding it into my little deodorant container. So this is the top of it. And I'm just going to add the deodorant through the bottom of the container. Now I'm just going to let the deodorant set and I will come back and show you the final product. So guys, this is the final product. This is our natural deodorant. So I was able to sit this in the refrigerator for about an hour and it did cool off pretty quickly. I do love how the top has this round portion and so it gives the top of the deodorant a nice round look. So I love that about this deodorant and the bergamot and the sandalwood smell so good in this deodorant. So I did make two jars. I actually have enough to make three, so I probably will reheat the remaining deodorant and go ahead and place it in a jar. But these are my two deodorants. So guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Products that I use can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.